Can, can I ask a question? Yes, sir. Um, I know you, I don't understand. Hi. Um, I don't understand why you have at the end of the meeting us coming up to give something to say. Because I'll, I'll explain. Because you guys are all sitting here and you go into your whole meeting and you're sitting checking off your checklist and what you want to do and then you vote and you've already made a vote. And so then you say, oh, is there anybody else that wants to say anything? Well, what can we say? We, we, can't, we, can't, add, we can't add to the conversation. You, or what, what? you certainly can. You can take notes on what is being discussed and, and feel free to add to the conversation at, at when it's public participation time, sure. I know that, but you, 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 if you take a vote before the public participation, you've already made your decision without the public's input. Here's the, the purpose of public participation is to give you an opportunity to come in and voice your concerns, and you you do that on you know fairly yeah, well. Yeah, well, I will. And, and part of this is if there is a particular thing that you'd like to comment on before this meeting, I'm happy to take. A well, look. I've got I got three pieces of paper already written mm -hmm. that I want I want you guys to have, and I'll leave. Well, it, it, I mean, I'll be more than happy to give you my papers, and then I'll leave, and you can discuss whatever you want. But I've already had, I already have written down what I want, what I think, and I, I'd be more than happy to give them to you. Uh, you know what, I'm taking it to the side. I won't leave. I mean, if, if you want to present, we could. Uh, well, I, I'm just, I want to, this is what I'm going to show you. I can take a ruling of the to have public participation happen first, so that way you can your uh, minutes, Steve, and then and beyond. So, if you want to do that, I will. Hang on, let me open the meeting. Okay. <laughs> Call this meeting to order of the Welcoming Immigrant Task Force, and with the permission of the entire uh, group, I'd like to be able to move public participation up uh, uh, up on the agenda. Um, would you like to make a motion to do that? Absolutely. Uh, so moved. All in favor? Okay. Thank, you. Just, Thank you. I don't know parliamentary procedure very well. I think part of the issue of why it's at the end is because we have very little time together and we're not allowed to work outside of this, this group. So the public participation can't take up a lot of time. No, I, I, I understand that. It's just that, I mean, you know, you're making all these votes and everything. I mean, we'll sit like, huh? Uh, Mr. Rizzoli, you have two minutes. Okay, well, my, I, I, I know what you're going to talk about. Uh, you're supposed to be appropriating things for uh, the immigrant community. Uh, just one sentence here. It says, as a resident of Framingham, uh, it is my hope that no monies be appropriated to the cause of helping illegal aliens who have no business being in the United States unless through private organizations and not through federal, state, or city funds. Aiding and abetting illegals in the state in America is a federal felony. I have my name. Added. I have a couple of pieces if you want to pass around. Thank you. Uh, it shows you the, the federal laws explaining that and that it, that. Uh, and also, I think maybe tonight you're going to be talking about the document or the welcoming proclamation. I'm not sure, but this is what I've always wanted to give to you. I want, if you make this document, I would like in the document this to be at least looked into and maybe put into the document. And it says, whereas Framingham welcomes immigrants, it welcomes those who are immigrants, those immigrants who are legally and lawfully in the city. And that's what I would like when you guys start discussing. You you got you another one if you want. <laughs> uh, Stop killing all these trees. <laughs> So, and that was us if you deserve that. Now, this, you may not like this, but uh, I've been having a, a pet peeve with Miss Margaret Shepard. Uh, I'm going to read this, and I'm, I'm going to be gone. You have 27. Okay, as a resident of Dis uh, District 7, I am concerned that City Council of Margaret Shepard employs illegal aliens in violation of federal law. I ask that the City Council, through its legal counsel, to look into this. And there's my petition, or however draft. And I appreciate your 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. I really appreciate this.